All right, it's been a while since I played this. Well, let's get back into it then. We got, I believe, I was turning in all my quests now back at the ship. Groundbreaker, Groundbreaker. Can't go there yet, that's on Monarch, Groundbreaker. Then Groundbreaker, yep. Everything's back in Groundbreaker. The Groundbreaker has approved our request for docking, Captain. You're free to disembark. Alright. Stay safe out there. I will later. Take Ellie and Parvati with me. I do like the anatomy that they have when the loading screen's growing on. Pretty cool seeing what uh, the artist did with making them. Alright, now time to turn everything in. Um, hey, that pad down there, with the lights off? There are people unloading a ship. Probably another sublight contract haul. Give me drugs, give me bootleg Aetherwave cartridges. And they're just transferring cargo out where everyone can see? Legal or not, somehow the company always has its paperwork in order. It's always nice hearing what the NPCs are discussing with each other. Hey, be careful with those crates, huh? huh? Alright, who should we go for first? I think I'll go talk to the medic first. That's her, and you talk to the medic. Medic going go over here. All right, there you are. Well, well, Dr. Fenhill. It's not often I see you on this side of sick bay. I make it a point not to get shot, and when I do, I can usually take care of the mess myself. It'd be nice to have you in here patching people up, not just blowing them apart. I respect what you're doing here, but you know I'm not ready to settle down. It's not you, it's me. Have it your way then. You always do. Now, about your friend here. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. Or reputation. Alright, she's done. Give me a nice chunk of XP and money. 3,500 XP? I want some money. What do I got? Additional 7,000 XP. Still not even close to home yet. 1,200 bits. Alright, then my next quest line. Who am I turning this one into? Talk to her later. I investigated this stress signal. That'll be returning to her. That's Monarch. I'll speak to Lily next. Oh, she's all the way back here. No. Speak with Lily Hagen. I have this set to active. It's still telling me to go here.
I know exactly where she is anyway, so I just had to hurt. Not waste disposal. She should, should be right here on the left. Wonder why the ejector marker's not waiting back there. Ah, eh. I like the helmets, but it's hard to tell which is which. Yeah, I think I'll take the helmets off of them. Uh, let's see your paint helmets. Take those off. All right. If this is something Tobias could handle, see yourself out the door. I don't charge for curiosity. At least, not yet I don't. Hey, careful with the C word around here. I like to keep things above board, and that kind of talk only makes trouble. I didn't even look at what I said. Sublight Whoops. occupies a legal blind spot. No one knows what we're licensed to do, and that gives our little business some freedom. But let's not tempt fate. I was supposed to talk to you, aren't I? I swear I was. Salvager in the sky. Speak with Lily Hagen. Run Subway Salvage and Shipping. Her office is located on the ground bigger's promenade next to the Sprotlot vendor. Oh, I need to come back to her once I get the key. Okay. But for else, I'll go have a drink at the bar. Get my companion quest done. And I'll return to Gladys and I should be able to get everything else done. I see you switch places. Alright. Ha, uh, thank God I didn't just steal it. That would have sucked. No. How's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Regularly scheduled advertisement for the following story. Okay, so what are we drinking? You're the expert. Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. What are you going to do? You seem nervous. Oh, no, that's just... That's on account of mine not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know? I've just been lying awake, thinking about what June Lay said, and... I feel my heart shake. Ah, uh, sorry, you off the beer. Oh! Beer. I guess... Yeah, I can do that. Beer can be good. I bet. Bottoms up. Think of it like a fizzy tea that's gone a little off. Ah, this tastes like the underside of a boot. People drink that for fun? Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? <laughs> Generally or specifically? specifically? Definitely. Definitely specifically. Oh, oh, why did I drink that? I mean, just with Junlei. I don't know what to do about us. <laughs> why is her message got you unsettled? Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. What's she write? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. 
Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I, I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Aww. Yeah, I'll use my persuasion. Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration. Wait, wait. Here I come. That's not water. Aw, this was just about to get fun. Shush you. Oh, Captain. I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but... I'm so scared. <laughs> what about me? What you scared about? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and she gets bored of me? No easy way to answer all those questions. Oh, there's nothing easy about about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later she's not? Go that of one. course. Wouldn't you be? Uh, that's who I am, so I might as well go with that answer. I envy your boldness of spirit, Captain. I can only hope a little bit of it rubs off on me. But, gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. I'm gonna work on that. Yeah. I like the way you put that. Like, it's okay to want to be better for her and not impossible to try. Well, Captain, this has been. This has been a whole lot. I got just. Wow. So much to think about. Thank God I didn't give you whiskey. Beer did that much. Oh gosh, I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? I go with inspiration. Okay, I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out, just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably, eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. This was fun. We should do it again after you send that message. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. I'll be quiet, but I got a ship. All right. Go talk there, talk there. Uh, that complete her mission going back to the ship. I'll do that when I actually need to go back to the ship. I'll get my access and then go back and talk to the ship merchant lady. Have you had a moment to look into that little opportunity I told you about on Roseway? Yes, I have. You don't hurry up. Someone will get to snooping around there before you do. I'm not paying 10,000 bits if I can get it for free. What's that? Speak up now. What 
would you turn up? <laughs> oh, I'd have to give up these things. Well, that's just... Just swell, sweetheart. Good for you. I just tell her everything. A shame you didn't visit old Gladys first. That would have fetched a good price. I may have thrown in a batch of my famous sugar cookies just to sweeten the deal. If Auntie Cleo's exporting wraps from Monarch, golly me, someone's going to be in the soup when they get caught. I'm bet. Bless your slippery little fingers. Isn't that just a shame? Prototype schematics go for a fair handful of bits around here. That's it. Darnation. It sounded like a gold mine, but maybe that's just my old hopes getting in the way. I suppose it can't be helped. Law bless you for doing the legwork, sweetie. Don't forget your pal Gladys now. You can come visit any time. All right. What do you want then? My hard-earned wisdom? I have to buy it. Damn it. Anytime, sweetheart. You know where to find me. I'm not gonna kill her to get the keys, so I'll just buy it. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. Fantastic. Do be careful with it, dear, as these keys tend to be a tad hard to acquire. You should have a chat with Lilia Hagen in the sublight offices. She's a tear. You'll love her. Now, was there anything else? No. Uh. I found a handsome ceramic manda pillar at a salvage auction last week. Do I have anything I'd trade you? I feel like I should. I'm not sure. I do. I have quite a few things I can trade you. You're not getting the forest gun. That's legendary. You can take that. Don't need that helmet. Don't need 20 pieces of steak. I had some gold troop armor. Don't need it. Don't need that. Don't need that. Plasma rifle. Got a couple of those. Definitely don't want to get rid of that. Alright, that should be uh, good for things that I actually do want to get rid of. Alright, I got her key now. Now to go back to the talk to Chip lit. Right, lady? I know Monarch's a moon. I think it counts anyhow. As <laughs> long as there's paying work, you can count me in. Wait, they wanted me to talk to the doctor as well. Yep. I get back. Uh, should speak to Lily though. Then I'll go talk to the doctor. You take real good care of your pistol, Doctor Fenhill. I oughta. Took me alive this long. I mean, you treat it nice. Makes me happy to see, cause I feel the same way about my wrench. Look, it's a tool that does a job. Feelings got nothing to do with it. You weren't followed, were you? I hope not. I mean, I got my two companions, but no, I wasn't followed. Sure is. Welcome aboard, contractor. One of my guys in Stellar Bay has a lead on some high-grade salvage, but he went dark before he could spill the goods. We arranged a drop at the Saltuna Warehouse's loading dock. Find whatever he left there and take it to Fallbrook. My gal Catherine will be expecting you. Alright, I'll take the job. And salvage are we looking for, though? When the board pulled out of Monarch, they buried or sealed anything they couldn't carry off-world. 
Apparently, one of Catherine's teams uncovered an abandoned lab with full tanks of Alta Vitae gas. Where is that? It's exactly one million bits per cubic meter. Before you get too excited, the only thing rarer than Alta Vitae gas is a reliable buyer. Dangerous stuff. Acid for the nucleon in your cells. It's no good to anyone outside of a lab. But it can be a lot of fun, if you don't mind the possibility of rewiring your body on an atomic level. You and I have different notions of fun, <laughs> Dr. Fenhill. Eh, right, I'll take the job. Now, get going. Catherine will brief you on the details when you check in with her at Fallbrook. One last thing. When you're on the job, keep a pair of eyes on the back of your head. Understood? All right, what? What should I be looking for? Don't go looking for anything except salvage. Just watch out. You'll right. be fine. Probably nothing to worry about. Probably. I ain't worried if you aren't, Captain. Uh, honest. When you worry the most. All right. Now to go talk to the doctor. You sure have seen a lot of the colony, huh, Doctor Fenhill? Ellie. I'm sure, but most of it looks the same from inside a ship. Sorry, Dr. Ellie. Still, though, don't you find it thrilling? Being in space? Look, it's just Ellie. Me and me, I can't believe it's not yours. It's unbelievable how good it is. I'm talking to, I'm talking to her? Or am I talking to somebody else? Farm Doctor Wellis, you have the nav key. Doctor Wallace on my ship? Must be on my ship. All right. Guess we're done on this place for now. Heard from the last is down on twenty two that you. Where are we headed today, Captain? The stars are the limit. Uh, I'll get to you in a sec. I need to talk to our engineer. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. So I just talked to her then? I messaged June Lei when we got back and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it, otherwise I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Any funny typos? Well, she called mashed potatoes smashed potatoes, but I think maybe that's just what they call them on Groundbreaker. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like, I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises.
Uh... <laughs> Isn't she sweet? <laughs> like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal and... I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. No problem. That's a lot of XP. But not enough to level me up. Leveling up is getting very difficult now. Um... What do we have at the workbench? How much money do I have left after doing that? I didn't even really look. I still got 9,000 left. All right, well, we're just gonna keep on upgrading my sniper rifle as much as I can. And can I put any mods on it? All right, I got a, got a magazine mod. Give me extra damage. It changes the type to shock. Should be good because it just has base. Yeah, I'll just increase everything. I'll install it. I got three of them. Should be fine. What a scope. Scope will reduce the spread. Yeah, I'll install that too. Current site is an exacto site. Post armor damage dealt 15%. Ooh, I don't want to get rid of that actually. And I reduce the spread of this light machine gun. I increase its damage, which might as well. Oh, it only gets a magazine mod. All right. That should be good now. That's not going to decrease the spread very much. It'll change the sight, though. Mm, not very much of a change, though. Yeah, so I'll just keep this. How about my melee? I can throw two grips on it. Mr. Ouch. I thought I already did plasma damage, but maybe it doesn't. No, it's got burn damage. I kind of want to keep that. So yeah, I'll just I'll just run with what I got. Cameras everywhere. Uh, let's see here. I want to transfer some stuff. Some of these legendaries that I'm not going to use, but I like to keep all the legendaries I find. I'm assuming those are legendaries. And then the forest gun can stay in there too. I may run with that a bit later. Damn. Ask Ada about the SAM unit. Oh, these doors weren't open before. Okay. I just take all this stuff. Oh, that's a picture of her dad. We got in here. How much of anything? Sports fan. Oh, this is the Vickers place. I still got one more empty room. Is 
Let's not see the medics. I haven't really explored the ship much since I first got into it. Uh, you guys need anything? Good to see you, boss. Never mind. We don't need a part wave. How about you? You need anything? Something on your mind? Uh, sure. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. <laughs> That's more personal stuff. Well, my blood type is AB positive. I'm a Leo and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. Straight to the point. Oh, come on. That stuff's boring. Deflecting. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. All right. No complaints here. Let's go. We'll talk to Ada about uh, Sam up here. My room. Welcome back, Captain. Now that you have acquired a nav key to Stellar Bay, would you like me to contact Dr. Wells? Doesn't this guy have a life? I don't believe so, Captain. Transmission <laughs> incoming. Well done. You'll love Monarch. Exotic climate, violent native species, fascinating culture, really. You'll need to speak with Hiram Blythe. He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. All right, tell me what to do. You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, Make your way to Hiram Blythe's compound. I got some questions. Come see me in my lab. I'll answer any questions you have. Okay. Best of luck. Everyone on the Hope is counting on you. Finally, I leveled up. Right, my dialogue's maxed out. The tech is getting there. I'll raise my stealth by one so I get that 50 bonus. So it's, uh... I get to 40 on my tech. Give me a good, nice bonus on everything in here. Uh, I think I was high. I think I was high enough. Now I got my third drug slot enhanced. Yeah, the inspiration thing that that's good to have at twenty. Those champion attacks can save my life. Dialogue at sixty-five. So we'll just keep going into throw things in the long gun. I'm as strong as possible with those. I don't get a perk yet. But some of my other people have leveled up. So I just increase them. You at least get a flamethrower at start. Or what is that? It's a grenade launcher? I haven't come across one of those in the natural world yet. i 
increases range damage kits ever run with them. Good. He can be leveled up. That. And everyone else is good, it seems. Before I leave, let's talk. Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Yeah, know anything about the Atomna? The unit is a cleaning sam. Hawthorne brought it on board some cycles ago, I'm sure with the intent to modify it. But I've never seen it up and running. Alex likely recorded progress notes detailing his efforts to modify Sam. If you check the terminal in your captain's quarters, we may be able to determine what work remains in order for Sam to properly operate. What will happen if I do this? Certainly, Captain. What would you like to hear? My favorite song. Now playing a Spacer's Choice advertisement jingle. Oh no. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's Choice. That is not my favorite Everyone song. Everyone in Halcyon is contractually obligated to label this or another board certified jingle their favorite song. Uh, that's not As you wish, Captain. I must comply with all direct orders. Mm -hmm. Alright, go find out what I need to have done for Sam to work. Sam. Uh, first Sam result. So the first one was determined to a killing robot. Uh, the second one. I already installed an acid gun into him? Alright. What about the third one? Uh, it's on Roseway. All right. Just to warn you, we may have a bed bug infestation. I am investigating non-toxic extermination measures. Non-toxic to you, I mean. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I found the part already. All right. I'd have to go back to the plan search, but I guess I already found it. Initiating initialization sequences. Greetings, customer. This SAM unit is unable to locate your registered information. Would you like to register your SAM? Yes. Registering new owner, Captain. Going to the crew, Sam. SAM units live to clean and clean to live. Uh, you have an acid gun. Don't clean, don't clean. Dust accumulation analysis, 2.5 years. Okay. <laughs> Not a uh, good Thank one. Thank you, customer. Sam, merciless on germs. So where'd you All come from? All Sam units travel fully assembled in a 12 by 12 corrugated steel box. All right. Got stubborn stains. Leave them for Sam. 
Did you know SAM units are capable of equipping regulation-grade flamethrower nozzles? Upgrade your attachment today and get to firing away! Ah, uh, okay. Alrighty then. Is that all I had to do? So I had to do time to go to Monarch. Warning, dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Uh, I'll go to Stellar Bay landing pad first. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. That was like a giant gas planet. I got one person I haven't found yet. Um, I've been running with Pravati this entire time, so I'll keep going with her. Do I, run, do I want to run with Sam, though, and see what he's got? No, I'll just keep... I'll run with these two for now. Find out who that last guy is. Oh, I got an achievement. I reached this place. All right. Stellar Bay. Anything on the terminal? No, oh, nothing on the terminal. Is our main way is that way. So. This ain't where... Yeah, this is here, too. Alright. Uh, don't need to fall and break my leg, so... Where's the downs? There it is. Hey, hold on there. I gotta sign you in. Don't think I've seen you around. That means you must be new to Stellar Bay. You are new here, right? Yep. You must have seen those UDL gunships on your way in. There's only three of them these days. Still, they tend to scare folk off. What are they doing out there? You may not have heard, you being new, but Stellar Bay hardly ever gets off-world traffic. Us being cut off by the board and all. Which means I never get to do this part, but I've been practicing. So, here goes. On behalf of Monarch Stellar Industries, welcome to Stellar Bay. Home of the freshest sal tuna in Halcyon. Please state your name for the records. Refer to Charlie Screwley. Don't be like that. I never get to do this part. Please. Fine. Captain West. Swell. There's one for the logs. I'm even going to give you your own entry code. I'm Thank not you. supposed to do that. It's against procedure, but Mr. Sanjar isn't so strict about the rules here. Besides, I got a lot of empty entries to fill. We don't get ship traffic in town. Only off-worlders who do make it out here are sublight. They got a base in Fallbrook. And thank the stars for them, or we would have run out of Rizzo's Purple Berry Crunch years ago. 
God damn it. All right. Well, I'm going to have a little ground Mr. Down. Sandra, I'll be mighty pleased to meet you. If you see him over at headquarters, maybe you could tell him I did a bang-up job of welcoming you? Oh, and if you're headed that way, maybe you could do me a favor? That depends. <laughs> it I it. got this Rizzo's Rangers Toswell poster coming in on the next sublight shipment. Signed by the Black Hole himself. Only I haven't heard anything in a while. You think you could check with Celia to see if it's come in? Who's the Black Hole? That's Bertie Holcomb. Only one of the greatest Tossbell hackers ever. Hackers? I wonder if he's kin. Dad had family that worked for Rizzo's. I never got to meet them. Everyone's heard of him, even on Monarch. We still get some of the games. You've been living in a sulfur pit or something? Not Ice God. Ice Cube. <laughs> Why is he called the Black Hole? On account of him being the best hacker who ever played, nothing gets by him. He sucks up every ball that comes his way. All right, that's all. Oh, I need on that side. Whatever you say, I could talk toss ball for hours. Yeah, I got a bunch. Celia works for Mr. Sanjar in the MSI building next to the bar. She's always there, so you can't miss her. All righty. Go, uh, find his book first. Wrap mask and painted eyes right here. Oh, the book's outside. Please, I need your help. I can pay. What you need? Oh, thank you for stopping. Everyone acts like nothing's wrong. Like my little boy isn't at risk of being eaten by some vile creature. Please, you have to help me get my little Tucker back. He ran away and is going to get himself killed. Oh, I, I just know a raptodon is melting him with acid as we speak. It's more dissolving than melting. That is not helpful. And he's dead if that's happening already. Where do I see him? Don't you tell me to calm down. I promised my boy I'd protect him for always. But how can I keep him safe if he's run away? He ran out into the wilderness a few days ago. I warned him about the raptodons, mantisaurs, and marauders, the toxic sulfur pools, and poisonous plants. But he didn't listen. Oh, law, Captain. A youngster won't last long in a place like this. Please, can't we help? Please, won't you go and find my boy? I'm a good guy, so yeah, I'll find your boy. Thank you. Oh, I know he'll be safe now that someone's able to fetch him home. You look for him in Amber Heights, you hear? It's down the road southwest of town. I'm sure he made it that far. I just know it. And if you find any of them iconoclast indoctrinating my boy, you punch them in the mouths. Tell them what I think of them luring little boys away from their mamas. It's immoral. Done and done. Maybe not punch them in the mouth, but my bullet will do a good job of that. All right, so since he, that one's outside as well. Oh, and I have to take Max to visit him. All right, so we're gonna do that later then. I don't really wanna run around with Max. So, that's the runaway thing. Is Celia in town? Yeah, she's in the town. Okay. Could I get another advance, Mr. Nandi? Just make sure it's properly logged. I'll note it next to the others, sir. Greetings, and welcome to Monarch Stellar Industries, producers and purveyors of the finest Saltuna and Halcyon. What can I do for you today? Saltuna's on a lot of planets. This is a moon.
I'll ask about the money thing first. Or is he not paying you on account of how he tried to fix the thing his own self and busted it even worse, and then said you wasn't fixing it fast enough, so he's docking your wages again? Not that I got any prior experience with such. Here not at all. Mr. Nandi treats us all right and pays us well. I just spent most of my paycheck on Raptid on acid. What? Laws, no. Sometimes it's canid teeth or a mantis warm wings. Whatever Sebastian has in stock, really. What are those? So I can talk to him, of course. He doesn't get going about much else. I reckon she's got a little bit of a squish on this fella. He's sort of the strong, silent type. Unfortunately, my apartment's kind of filling up with his stuff, and some of the neighbors are complaining about the smell. Yeah, I ain't talking you? for you. I'd appreciate that so much. Uh, maybe don't tell him I wanted you to ask. Just that you met this really nice lady named Celia, and she seemed... Oh, Mr. Nandi's doing that thing where he breathes through his nose real slowly. I'd better get back to work. <laughs> what are you seeing him? He doesn't talk much, but he's got this quiet intensity, you know? Like there's stuff going on inside his head that you have no idea about. Plus, he's got great legs. It's hard to find a man who doesn't skimp on lower body exercises. Good to have standards, I guess. I know what I'm looking for. Something very specific. Sorry, sometimes I get carried away. Uh, I actually need to talk Have to you about a poster. To yet? What did he say? Uh, Grim asked me to <laughs> check in with a tossball poster. You know, sending you is the first bright idea I've seen from that man, because I told him to stop bothering me about it a week ago. I still don't know anything about it, but if you want to help him, Velma's the one to ask. She's in the warehouse. But I'll warn you, Grim wore her patience thin a long time ago. All right, I have a very persuasive tongue. Oh, I'm here. Do I need to talk to this guy? Nope, not that guy. Uh, let's get this dating thing done first, though. And then the Velma thing, since they're both here. Be in town? Yeah, he's in town. No, he's right here on the corner. Hello, stranger. Can I interest you in a raptodon tongue? Or maybe some canid toenails? You look like a man who's looking for some mostly fresh animal parts? No, I'm not. I don't know. Celia usually buys whatever I have, and Mr. Pickett seemed real interested. So I thought maybe I was onto something. Mr. Pickett? Franklin Pickett from Edgewater? That's him. He'd been here years, but he always talked about going back to Edgewater one day. Right, you know he's sure. talking about? Mr. Pickett used to run the community center outside Edgewater. He had this grand idea to make it a museum for Halcyon life. As my dad told it, Mr. Pickett was always going on about getting a Manta Queen for the last display. He left the Vale, gosh, years ago. He came to Stellar Bay years ago, just before the board cut us off. <laughs> ended up stuck here. He was always real interested in our monsters. Manta Queens, especially. Have you seen a Manta Sure, queen? they're real big. Hard to miss them. Where have you seen a Manta Queen? Well, I could send you to the same place I sent Mr. Pickett, but I haven't seen him in a few weeks. To tell true, I'm starting to get a bit worried about him. Captain, can we look for him? 
I'd feel awful if somebody from home was in trouble and we didn't do nothing. Tell you what. I'll tell you where I sent Mr. Pickett if you promise to look for him. Help him out if he's got himself in trouble. Fair deal? Do I keep an eye out for him? <laughs> nah, no, I just keep an eye out for him. All right then. Leave town through the southern gate, the one right here, and head past the abandoned ruins. Last mana queen I saw was in the wilds out that aways. Could be Mr. Pickett still out there too. Huh. I haven't seen her in a few days, but I've been meaning to ask her how that rapted on acid is working out. I hope it's working okay, because no one else really seems interested in this stuff. No, they wouldn't. Wait, I see what's going on. She put you up to this so she could get a discount, hmm? Oh, no, that's not it at all. She's smitten with you. You smited her. Smoot? Smoot? Don't get me wrong. I'd like to give her a discount. She's a real fine lady. Always talks nice and slow, so I understand. But if I give her one, I won't hardly make a bit. On account of no one else having any use for raptodon tongues. No, you you don't you don't you don't get it. So I'll I'll persuade you. You sound pretty sure. And she is awful nice. Give her a chance. Give yourself You're a, dance. a chance. Take her someplace nice. Okay. I'll do it. Once her shift ends, we'll go Dents someplace nice. Don't really ever get Maybe together. to Chef Raymond's. That's the spirit, Sebastian. Be yourself. Between you and me, Captain, I'm not sure Miss Celia knows him too well. But we can hope, right? I want them to be happy. <laughs> All right, so we'll go back to her. Have you talked to Sebastian yet? What did he say? You had yourself a date. Okay, but how did he say it? Did he sound excited? Or like he was just agreeing to it? Was he like, yay, a date with Celia. I've secretly been waiting for this. Or was it more, sure, I don't have anything else going on. Don't ask him for any discounts. Not to worry. If I never buy another Raptodon tongue, it'll be too soon. Ah, look at me going on. I'm sure you've got other things to do and Mr. Nandi's giving me that back to work look. Anyhow, thank you. Level 14. Got two levels for turning in stuff and just talking to people. Yeah, I got you up to 70. Let's... That's pretty high. Let's throw some points in inspiration. Get that up to 25. I get that up to 15 on the bottom. And we'll uh, throw our last point in tech and raise all that up. Alright, so we're done with that. And then I got my super perk. Well, give me an extra 80 pounds of weight. Let's go with a TTD restored per kill. I don't know what reputation doing here. Damn. Oh, even though I messed up their stuff, they're still friendly with me, I guess. So friendly. Becoming friendly with a lot of people. Revere the groundbreakers. Alright. 
Where are you? Well, you got anything for me? New business turns up at last. Celia, didn't I tell you our new statistics-based advertising model would be a hit? Never seen that it. That you did, sir. How can yield improvements of 26.7% not quicken the pulse? How can 32% cost savings not moisten the loins? You've often posed these very questions. Clear my schedule. This newcomer has a meeting with me. Thank you. Celia, will you make a note of that for my self-review? Very generous. Noted. But not so generous I can't drive a good bargain. Now, who sent you? Rizzo's, perhaps? Or Auntie Cleo herself? <laughs> what a charming notion. One doesn't meet many free spirits in Alcyon. Not outside Tartarus prison, anyway. Forgive me, I'd be positively enraptured. Only, I take it this means you aren't here for Saltuna. <laughs> I'm afraid not. Oh, a shame. I'd been saving a bottle of iceberg aged whiskey for an occasion like this. Seems like you're having a rough time, Mr. Sanjar. Are you doing quite all right? Oh, don't worry on my account. This is merely the latest in a long line of professional erotic and athletic disappointments. I had hoped that livening up yeah, our advertisements eh? with enticing figures would draw the other corporations back to our bosom, but it seems we're back to the drawing board. Thanks to the so-called Hazard Clause, Monarch has been cut off from the board's resources and protection for ten years now. now. We've kept ourselves in business by trading with individual corporations, but given the off-the-books nature of those transactions, such arrangements are precarious. Yes, freedom is a tempting ideal. But a rather costly paramour. So what do you mean do about it? Well, Mr. Nandi here has a rather ingenious plan to get MSI restored to the board. On our terms, mind you. Ingenious plan? Don't get me wrong, I'm starting to admire your sand, but I bet you could overcomplicate a sisty sandwich. What a charmingly roguish turn of phrase! Allow me to express my thanks at your confidence and assure you that my plan is indeed sufficiently complicated. And if our advertising scheme hasn't borne fruit, then perhaps it's time we took matters into our own hands. <laughs> Lady knows what's going on. It's true, our Celia is an alarmingly competent middle manager. At any other company, she'd be wasted in data entry. The plan she refers to is a two-pronged approach, and the first part involves seeing Stellar Bay properly defended. <laughs> All right, how do you mean With do a it? Bolt 52 cartridge, of course. If you can get us what we need to rejoin the board, starting the Bolt 52, we'll be able to become one of the most productive and secure cities in Halcyon. And you'll have a powerful ally on the board. Good. What is it? Why, one of the strongest defenses in Halcyon. An extremely powerful ordinance. Never realized fighting the bureaucracy could be this interesting. It is quite the rush. The other part I'll need to gather some supplemental materials, but I mustn't get ahead of myself. You do tend to do that. The Bolt 52 will be in the old arms building southwest of town, which used to be part of Stellar Bay before we had to move our walls in. And these days, it's overrun with marauders and raptodons. My perception isn't high enough? Are you kidding me? 
All right. So taciturn, so dour. I'll be waiting with bated breath. Oh, and while you're at it, there should be a terminal in the arms building with some dangerous information. Perhaps you could delete it so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. After I read it, I maybe will. What can I do for you? I make her in the landing party. I see. And was his delivery of the MSI authorized greeting up to snuff? <laughs> he did a bang up job. Well, that's excellent. I'll see that your feedback makes it into his review. What else can I do for you? I'm good for now. I think I can find the other people myself. Alright, now that you're done. Alright, what was the name isn't what I'm going for. Uh, let's go talk to Velma about that poster. Been a lot of running around in this episode of Velma Let's Play The Outer Worlds. What you got? Look, you can tell Catherine the new shipment will be ready when it's ready, all right? She's welcome to come up here and pack boxes herself if she's in such a hurry. <laughs> I'm not going to be mean, though. Well, if you're that friendly about it, then you definitely aren't one of Catherine's sublight toughs. My mistake. I hope you can forgive my temper. This job has been running me ragged lately. First, my autoloader foreman stages a walkout, and now my chief pescatological health manager is missing. Is this about your foreman? Caleb Herrick runs the autoloader operators. He thinks I don't pay them enough for flipping switches and turning dials. So the job's easy, but you're not doing it? Something smells here. I mean, everything smells in here, but something's fishy. Uh... Wait. He and his whole crew walked out. Say they won't come back unless I pay them more. You have a lot of makeup on, I just realized. I'll talk to him. You mind slapping him around a little while you're at it? I'm joking. Mostly. Unless you can do it without hurting his job performance. If you can find a way to get him back to work, I'll make it worth your while. Check the Yacht Club. He's usually there. Braxton. He's in charge of getting the fish fat, but also making sure they don't get too many tumors. He's a real wizard with pharmaceuticals, but he has creative notions of working hours. Comes with living in a free colony, I guess. <laughs> Are there any rules about this sort of We're thing? not keen on rules for rules sake around here. Means Braxton skips work sometimes, but it also means no company boss is telling me when I can take a shit. Since you don't seem to be constrained yourself, maybe you could check up on him. He lives in the apartments. Tell him Velma said to get his lazy ass down here, or she might start noticing those extra jugs he's been taking from supply. Something else on your mind? Yeah, there's this one reason I came down here and, uh, Grim's poster. This again? I swear, this is the last time I contract for any special requests. You can tell Grim his poster came in. You can also tell him I got a better offer for it. So now it's going to Nell. That about cover it? Who's Nell? She runs the bedding parlor across the way. Nice professional lady. She asked me about the poster once. Just once. Made a real generous offer, too. That's about the Damn mind. right it is. Still have the poster, it's right? It's staying locked up in my office until Nell shows with her money. Uh, mm, I'll ask the question. No. I paid Sublight for it, so it's mine. 
And when Nell pays me for it, it'll be hers. Grimm may have asked for the poster, but it's not his until I take his money. Right, is there anything we can do about it? Sure can. If you want to pay me more than Nell's offering. I'll persuade. Sure. And once you finish helping me, then we can talk about the poster. All right. Fine by me. Sublight boss out of Fallbrook. Handles most goods that come in or out of Cellar Bay. Has a mouth like a ground zig spacer. Okay. Stealing such a nasty word. Let's call it skimming. And yeah, let's just say I've noticed the sterile biotics we use for the fish would get used a little faster on Braxton's shifts. I just turn them in. We're not like those corporate towns where you get fined for sleeping on the wrong side of the bed. Besides, That's the spacious nice. choice stuff we use is cheap enough. And Braxton knows how to get the Saltuna. Fat and mostly tumor free. Yeah, Unless okay, you're look. here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. All right, then. Hard workers? They turn dials and flip switches. The machines do all the actual work. I'll wager she don't pay those folks that maintain the mechanicals decent, neither. Caleb and his crew have it better than anyone else around here, I'll tell you that much. I don't have the bits for it, plain and simple. Besides, if I make an exception for him, I gotta do the same for everyone. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. Are you willing to make for running me ragged while he takes an extended leave at the bar? Not on your life. Damn. Fine by me. I'll talk to you later. Why do you have a name? Weird. That's a bathroom. Ah, here's how we go up. Oh, that's if I want to steal the poster from her. Nah, uh, I'm not gonna do that. Ow. I'm not gonna steal the poster from her. We'll figure this out the other ways. Go talk to Nell real quick. Ooh, you're the new face. Wow, you must be up on all the latest tossball games. So who do you follow? Wait, don't tell me. You look like a Hammersmith Thunder fan. No, Glacial Age Mammoths. Aren't they just? When I get to worrying about the marauders outside, the raptodons chewing at the walls, I just turn my transceiver up to drown it all out. Most of the time it's static on account of the frequency being clogged up, but sometimes it's toss ball. So, what can I do for you? Uh, you said you're having trouble? Graham's always filling the airwaves with this propaganda. Like it's done him any good. All it means is the tossball games get to us in fragments. 
Makes him real hard to watch. Signed by the Black Hole himself. There's no way I could pass that up. Why, did you want to see it? I don't have it yet. I'm waiting on a few customers to pay up before I can give Velma the bits. So you don't have the money yet? Okay. I don't know. This isn't just some poster. It's a genuine Tossball artifact. The Black Hole doesn't even sign things anymore. He just puts a stamp on them. <laughs> of course, the only reason I asked Velma about it in the first place was because those Sublife fellas lost my shipment of official Tossball jerseys. I was going to line the walls with them. They're the new ones, now with authentic Game Time Aroma. Game Time Aroma? Okay. Of course not. No, authentic means close enough to be the real thing, but not actually the real thing. Everyone knows that. Anyway, I guess they tried no, to take a shortcut around no. Amber Heights and ran into some trouble. Can't blame them for trying. Those iconoclasts never shut up. But they lost a bunch of cargo, including my jerseys. If you could get those for me, I might let Grimm have that poster. I'll see what I can Thanks. do. Thanks. Don't put yourself in danger on my account, though. That poster will be a fine substitute. What can I do for you? Now I'll make both of you happy. That's all. All right. So I've covered. I've accepted most of the quests in the town. Uh, let's go talk to Caleb and Braxton. We'll start with Braxton since he's first on the side quest list. Sounds like Braxton. Oh, it does work. Uh, yeah, this looks like the apartments. Whatever you do, don't mention Tossball to Isaac. You'll never hear the end of it. You know, I what? haven't seen him in a while. Who just yelled someone's been killed? I think I'm gonna be sick. What happened? I clean the apartments while everyone's at work. I've seen all sorts of messes, but this... If you're going into the apartments, do not go into the lower one on the right. That's where the body is. Now, if you'll excuse me, I need to go contemplate a hot shower. All right, bottom right, there's a body. No! Oh, sorry, sorry. Just spooked me, was all. Not much I can do for this guy. I don't want to get in a stealing thing. I oh, need to search for clues, though. Betting slip lists some increasing bold wagers made for a team called Mostly Colonists. It's from Left Field Tossball Betting. Oh, it's her. We got any other clues in here for this body? Some money. All right, so he's in a hurry to leave. All right, time to go and investigate the uh, betting area. Went from one quest right to another. All right, so we're gonna... Is that her place or is that another place? It's her place. Here to catch a game? I'm afraid the transmission's still pretty bad. What can I do for you? Uh, I'm investigating a murder that I just decided to investigate, apparently. Poor Isaac. I was wondering why I hadn't seen him in a few days. I'd really like to help. Isaac was a sweet fellow, even if he did have terrible teeth. <laughs> oh, right. So the thing with Isaac is he didn't know where to stop. 
He'd get stuck on something, and he just couldn't let it go. Sometimes he'd drink Purpleberry Punch by the leader. Other times he'd keep betting on a losing team. Started owing the wrong people money. Udio. I don't know for sure, but I saw Elijah and his buddies pushing Isaac around. They're hooligans from Fallbrook. They sweep into town, drop supplies off behind the warehouse, and spend the rest of their stay getting rowdy over tossball games. They usually loiter in the alley behind the yacht club. They're not allowed in the bar anymore. I bet you anything Isaac ran into trouble with one of them. Thanks for the tip. Mr. Sanjar will be pleased to hear about it when you're done. I know he gets fed up with the Fallbrook bullies, but there's not much he can do. Alright. Now I got another thing to do. Still on that quest, right? Yeah, Elijah and his gang. Alright. Go solve a random murder I found. What are the chances of all the times and places we and have been can't born? Get Damn it. Yeah. We're here, light years from Earth, going about our lives. Nice thing about traveling with the captain. We meet all sorts of new people. Sure. Best part is when they pay us. We never really had new folks in Edgewater, except the captain. <laughs> kind of hard to make new friends when... Everyone's already decided they don't like you. Could be a favor in disguise. A lot of people out here ain't that nice. Thanks, guys. Berta, that's your name. Berta and two thugs. Who the fuck are you? This ain't your alley. Hey, what are you doing here? This is our secret alley. Berta already pissed by those crates to market. Are you dogs? Listen, that purple tooth twerp had it coming. Not that anyone has proof. And not that it's any of your business. I'm I'm making it my business. Oh yeah? What are you saying exactly? You find intimidating? You've bullied people long enough. If you know what's good for you, you'll clear out and never come back. Wow. Most of the pencil pushers around here cave as soon as you look at them funny. Fine. We're going. This ain't worth it. I should have killed them, actually. Now that I think about it. Hey. Move along. Ah, uh, he it peacefully. Oh. Did someone murdered somebody well, in your town and you solved business, it for isn't you? It? Anyway, what can I do for you? <laughs> but that's terrible. What happened? I'm glad to hear you've dealt with them. They've been causing quite a bit of trouble around town. I've been consumed with other matters of late, but I would have dealt with them eventually. Of course you would have. But Isaac's of still dead. Of course I would have. Still, your intervention in the matter is much appreciated. Please consider this payment for your services. Thank you. That's my main quest. Go back to the murder hotel. Yep, murder hotel is this way. I got the door still open. So, guess who Celia brought home the other night? Now she can stop buying that junk. What you doing? Oh, you startled me. Don't sneak up in a prison like that, huh? Braxton. I've never even heard of a Braxton. Got nothing for you, sorry. 
dilated pupils, anxious posture, and muscle spasms. Thank you, Doctor. He's high on some quality stuff. No! Okay, maybe just a little. Braxton always has a good stash, and I just like to let loose a little. Stop thinking about the marauders and the raptodons outside, you know? Oh, damn. He told me he was delivering to this house in the ruins south of town. Whole family had fallen sick, and he had some meds on hand. So maybe look for him there? That's all I needed. Poor fella. Hope he's okay. We should hurry, Captain. Hard to do that. That's outside the gate, too. Alright, that's outside the gate. Uh, let's go talk to Hedrix then. Need Hedrix in our main quest, and that should be everyone inside the town. Dr. Ellie, you ever wonder if maybe we got some things in common? This isn't another thing about wrenches and guns, is it? Because you're a surgeon and I'm a mechanic. We both fix things, heal them up. Hate to break it to you, but before I got to Groundbreaker, I fixed more noses than bones. Nowadays, I probably shoot more than I save. Oh. New face, huh? You from off world? Yep. A ship captain? Well, I'll be. Here, let me buy you a drink. Consider it an MSI welcome. Why don't you grab a chair? Thank you, kindly. Sit a spell and revel with us. By the smell, he's been reveling enough for you both already. We celebrate. Me and my friends have taken our destiny into our own hands. We're untethered, free of responsibility and worldly cares. Well, as long as we don't run out of bits. But until the windfall's gone, we're riding high. See, we just walked out on our work. Had enough, we did. So now we're striking. So you ran out of money. I don't see how. When Sanjar took over MSI, he tossed all the old corporate rules. We ain't required no more to work whatever job the company demands. Our supervisor, Velma, goes on and on about quarterly profits and meeting quotas. But that ain't what Sanjar promised us. Velma refuses to negotiate, so we're refusing to work. We won't go back until she agrees to pay us fair and proper. Us on Monarch, we're free from the board, you know? We have the right to lobby for better hours and pay. Yeah, let's talk about Velma then. Sure thing. What did you want to discuss? How oh, long can you afford to miss work? Not forever, but we've each saved up our bits, and I stashed them safe in my home by the diner. I reckon we could last a week or two at least. I'm not gonna steal from this dude game. Nope. I'm calling her bluff. If she wants to threaten us, we'll see how she likes it when Sanjar finds out she gave Sublight even more dominion in Stellar Bay. Damn it. If I knew that, I'd have tried it. Talking reasonably got me nowhere. Maybe you'll fare better. The others wanted to blackmail her, but we're above that. Besides, them are just rumors. We got no proof they're true. What rumors? I would never endorse such an untoward tactic, you know, but, well, there's rumors that Velma's taking a cut off the profits. So far, it's just gossip, you know, but if there was any proof to be had, it'd be in the Saltuna warehouse, I reckon. I'll talk to you later. Let's see if we can get you fairer wages.
Why is that up there like that? Weird. How do I even get up there? I hear those rich people in Byzantium pay a handsome bit for rat musk. Also, she's here. Why is her stuff all the way over there for blackmail? Supposedly. I'd give you a friendlier welcome, but I'm up to my elbows and salt tuna guts. Gosh, this old girl's in a rough way. Even old Bess in Edgewater was in better shape than this. Hey, you want to try running a cannery with obsolete machinery? You be my guest. She already did. Um, sorry, ma'am. I wasn't trying to be rude. It's just your flanging apparatus isn't making a strong flange, so your sealer isn't sealing right, and... Oh, I see what you're saying. I'll have to try that. Anyway, what do you folks need? Thank you, Engineer. Unless you're here to tell me he's agreed to do his job again, I've got nothing to say. If Caleb wants to keep this job, he'd better get back to it. I'm about ready to hire sublight contractors at this rate. I'll go with this one first. Maybe so, but I bet you Caleb runs out of bits first. Then he'll have to come back. He says he's got a stash to tide his crew over. Could be he's all talk, but if the money's real, I bet you he keeps it at home. Near the diner. You'd steal from your own people? That's low, ma'am. That's business. Someone's got to keep the lights on. Yeah, but he can't do that. I'll just use my lie. Same thing as me. Where's your proof? Because I know no one's been poking around my terminal lately. MSI is going to have a hard time getting legitimacy if everyone's so uptight about a little embezzlement. Just as a... hypothetical. Nothing to see on my terminal, of course. Because I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> Thanks. Fine by me. Let's go see if that's a fact. <laughs> Mash random keys. Do I have anything that'll raise range and see that gives me long guns, that gives me dialogue skills. We'll throw that on to increase my tech skills. Did that give me high enough? Uh oh yeah, it's is it on this page? I don't remember anymore. It's on this page. Okay, so my hack is 40. My hack needs to be 50, though. Uh, let's go see if I can buy anything that will increase my hacking at one of these vending machines around here. Uh, where were those vending machines again? Actually, lady, you got anything that, that you're selling for game? hacking? I'm afraid the transmission's still pretty bad. What can I do for you? It's all for now, since you don't have a trade thing. Speaking of that, it's hacking and s stealth? Why is hacking stealth and not tech? Alright, so I need to find... Do I have anything that raises my stealth? That gives me a negative five to stealth skills. 
Uh, companions, you got anything that real will raise my stealth for me? Your negative five stealth skills. Oh, you. Ah, you're sneak plus seven. You're not stealth skills in general. Damn it. So. You don't much like me, huh, Dr. Ellie? It's nothing personal. I'm just not the touchy feely type. It's just how do I get you up seem there? Fine with the others. Did I do something to make you unhappy with me? You gotta stop taking things so personal. You're setting yourself up for a letdown. Oh, vending machine. Ah, uh, you only got food though. You don't have armor, do you? No, you do have armor. You got anything for stealth? Ah, uh, no stealth bonuses. Easy way to get around here, though. Damn it. Broke my legs. Try this again. Damn it. I'll try to jump from this platform to the uh, other platform then. Uh, don't jump too far. I'm one key short, are you serious? Buy all three of those. That's expensive. Who am I hacking? Mm. A little annoying that my hack skill wasn't up to par. Alright. What? I just bought keys. Aren't Maglox what I use for that? Forty one. Wait, what? What do I have forty four of? I'm so confused. Why don't I have enough for this? Uh, anything that can increase my hacking skills, I wonder. That gives me body attributes. Mind attributes, mind attributes, stealth attributes, anything that gives me stealth attributes. No, nothing that gives me stealth attributes. I don't have enough to hack that. I'm missing one.
Don't normally steal. But I'm just missing one. I'm gonna steal so I can get this. I should. Okay. I don't understand. Or is that my skill rating? That's too low. Oh, it must be my skill rating. I need to be at 45. I believe someone does have lockpicking, though. Body, you got a lot of kicking. No, you do not. Damn it. So it's not that I don't have enough, I just don't have a high enough skill. I'm missing one. That's annoying. Persuade, persuade, dodge. Uh, determination plus seven. I don't need determination. All right, looks like I'll just have to come back and do this one later, sadly. So that'll be it for the inside of the city. I'll have to bring uh, the Visker down here later. But the only other thing I have that I can do in the city right now that I have enough level up for is to speak to Nyako, which he should be in the city. Can't believe I'm missing one level of block picking to get that. I'm missing quite a few on hacking. Too bad I couldn't find an armor for that. And the little bastard's slippery, right? On account of its blood, so it's it's sliding all over the place, trying to crawl away. Getting so I can't tell the tell the blood from the mud. <laughs> Alright, let's hear the rest of the but story. I gotta get in there, get right in that baby wrapped stomach and dig it out. If so much as a drop of stomach acid got on that medallion, I shit, I don't know what I'd do. Might be I'd hunt every dam wrapped out there. Right. What are you staring? Wait. You ain't from around here. Who are you? <laughs> Who am I? I'm West. Ooh, you <laughs> charmer. Don't get a lot of that around here. Folks mostly grump at me about how I should join the MSI payroll. Nice change of pace. Buy me a drink, will you? You're drunk enough. Another in a long line of damn fools trying to cut me off. I'll buy my own poison then. What are you doing in Stellar Bay, stranger? <laughs> well, I was told to help. You can well. help me. Well, well, well. Let's get down to Brass Nuts then, shall we? Brass... Wait, that ain't it. Brass rats? Let's... Let's talk business. I'm headed back out there after I sober up. You want a guide sooner than that? You'll have to get me something to clear my head. Sure, what do you need? Outstanding! Our dispensary here maintains a stock of, uh, well, I don't rightly know what they are. Steroid or caffeine somethings? Pills. They're very good. Right, caffeine pills. I'm cut off for the month, on account of needing one just about every damn day. But I'm sure you've got your wily ways. Fetch me one and we'll be all set. You mean Gaffnoy? That stuff's just a stimulant. Well, they work. We got a deal or what? I'll be back.
Val must seem out of sorts to you. He's always cranky. Hello, dearie. Why, I don't believe I've seen you before. And with sweet cheeks like those, I'd remember. Quite the bedside manner, lady. Well, it's so rare I get the pleasure of new company. What can Auntie Abigail do for you? And what a helpful young man you are. Nothing like a little pill to liven up the spirits. Whiskey helps, too. Please leave medical advice to the professionals. <laughs> now, dearie, who's this pickup for? Uh, best way to progress forward is for me to lie here, sadly. So I'll just lie. I'm so sorry, but with the iconoclasts and the marauder filth chasing away what little trade we get, I'm afraid I have to reserve my supply for Stellar Bay residents. Damn it. Our reserves have gotten so low, I've even had to start locking the supply room upstairs. Isn't it a shame what some people will do to get a little... Extra. Oh, that's just awful. Isn't it just? I'd make an exception for you if I could, my little cherub. Is there anyone else needing a special pickup from Auntie Abigail? Uh, yeah, I'll tell her. Oh, her. <laughs> It's none of my business, but I have told her Dr. Williams would bump up her monthly allotment if only she'd join MSI. Contribute like the rest of us. Now I've gone and said too much. <laughs> and you know me, dearie. I don't like to pry. When can she get her next dose? I'm afraid it'll be the better part of a month. Our dear Nyoka tends to exhaust her supply rather quickly. Believe me, there's nothing I'd love better than to help you, but there's not much I can do. Dr. Williams managed the town's allotments from his terminal upstairs. Even I can't access them. I can persuade you. Oh, you flatter an old woman. Me, I'm just here to be a pretty face for the customers. And to keep an extra key to the supply room for all the times Dr. Williams misplaced his. Careless yeah, experimentation with medicinal substances does take its toll eventually. But until uh -huh. then, it's lots of fun. Episodic pharmacological delirium is no laughing matter, young lady. Uh. In the We're town graveyard, I'm afraid. Poor man was always searching for the flower of enlightenment. On the way, he tried some rather daring substance combinations. The flower of it's a philosophist symbol of some kind, dearie. Never you mind. The graveyard's near the southern ruins. You're certainly welcome to pay our respects, but the bodies tend to attract beasties. Do be careful. I'd hate for anything to happen to you, dearie. Chin up, dearie. Alright, so every quest I have, I either don't have the skill for, or is outside the city. So, we shall be heading outside the city to get through with all of these missions. Yeah, every mission's outside the city right now. Uh, is this one inside the city or is this one outside the city as well? Uh, we'll see when we walk over here. Yeah, this way. Oh, we 
and go up. Uh, for what reason we could go up? I have no idea, though. Interesting. Or does this lead to a back way that you can't normally get to? This must be we do a back way that you can't normally get to. Okay. So I can't get out this way either. So we will see if this has collision, and if not, I guess I'm going to break my legs. Collision? Oh, broke my legs. Auditorial. During your adventures, this may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer. Take the flaw. Taking the flaw is optional, but doing so provides you with a perk. The choice is yours. Found a flaw. What? Their choice found a flaw on you. Acrophobia. After repeatedly falling from great heights, you no longer function well when the ground is far beneath you. Ah, uh, minus one de dexterity, perception, and temperament. Uh, no, I don't want this phobia. I really do not want this flaw if it does that. So I'll reject this flaw. That's a cool feature, though. I have no idea what this room is. Can I get that flaw if I sprint long enough? Or I'm a chronic runner and gain extra sprint? I would not mind that. What's in the city? Retrieve the missing passcode, apparently. Okay. Does leave out of the city? Yeah, at least out of the city, too. Can't do that mission yet. Oh, that's the uh, gas. Okay. All right, so that's everything in the city that I can do so far. So we'll end this one here and then pick this up another time to finish the quest outside.